Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Temple Talk Thursdays. I'm super excited about tonight. And um, I have a whole bunch of special guests that I'm hoping that they show up. And definitely, tonight is one of those nights that I am on a Triple G movement. Do you know what Triple G movement means? Giving God the glory. Yes, that's what I'm going to do tonight. So tonight, we're going to do something out of the ordinary. Hey, Ben, how you doing? Thanks for watching. Tonight, we are going to... Hey, Ayana, how you doing? We are going to bring some authors here. Hey, Ro, how you doing? And what I'm going to do is the Triple G movement. Yes, giving God glory through these authors. So authors, if you're out there, if you know an author, tag them, let them know. They have an open forum, three to five minutes, to share their story, to share their book tonight. Tonight is all about increasing the kingdom, and I'm super excited about that. So... Um, let me introduce myself before we begin this plethora of awesome and amazing authors. My name is Kat Pons. I am the restoration coach here at Restoration From Within. We work with women who want to go back to an overall healthy place for themselves personally, for their families, but most importantly for God. And today I'm going to focus on those entrepreneurs. Yes, on my fellow entrepreneurs who are out there in the marketplace doing ministry. And one of the ways that um, I have um, some great and amazing fellow entrepreneurs is that they wrote a book. They shared their stories through a book. And today we're going to share our stories and we're going to stretch ourselves and share our stories through the live. So I'm super excited. So I have, I know, right? So Melissa Nixon, I told her, hey, Rebecca, how you doing? Um, she won't be here, but definitely she will be here. I will be doing another live to share your stories. Authors, share your story in January 2019. So I'm super excited. So the first guest that I'll have here is none other than my girl, the CEO Live. Yes, the CEO Live. And she has a awesome book that has helped me that hence... That's why I'm live here and she has helped me and sharpened my tool as going live. So definitely she has an amazing book and we're going to re we, we're going to reintroduce because we've had her before as a guest, our lovely Roshanda the Rose Show Pratt. So definitely I'm going to invite you in, sis. Here in a few minutes. I'm super excited about this today. How y'all doing today? <laughs> Hey, Cat Ponds, how are you? I'm good. I'm really good. I'm, I'm super good. Excited. I'm really good. I'm super excited. Okay, can I just do something? So I'm in a hotel traveling, and this yeah. light behind me is bumping. Yeah. You guys know when I tell you do a live video, the light needs to be in front of you. So give me one second. I didn't realize. I tried to rearrange the hotel room lighting. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, your makeup By is the fabulous. way, your makeup is fabulous, darling. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate it. Okay. Here's some there. Here's some there. <laughs> so tell us about so the tell us life. about first the Rocho life. life. Well, first off, I just want to say thank you so much for your opinion. Thank, thank you. For, thank you for stepping out and writing the book because it has helped me. I mean, it has stretched me. I mean, it has stretched me as I'm coming, coming up with your life. But I don't want to give up all the good. Tell yourself. me a little bit about and yourself about your and story. about your story. Sure. So I'm known in the digital streets as the Roadshow Live storyteller and live stream strategist. And I work with brands like Cat Ponds and helping them to amplify their voice and monetize their story on live video. Um, I got to this point of being the CEO of live video because for 20 years, I worked as a television news producer, executive producer, and did some stuff on camera. And one of the things that I love about media, it gives you this opportunity to have instant credibility. But I discovered for a lot of people, Kat, they love this thing live video or they have this tool on their phone, but they don't know how to use it. So I took my skills mm -hmm. that I learned 20 years of seeing really good TV, and sometimes seeing really bad TV. And I put it together in this mm -hmm. book. You can get on Amazon, CEO of Live Video. And yes. it's a step-by-step -step yes. showing you how to connect, engage, and make an offer to your audience. Yes. And I love and I love that yes. you said and I love, and I love that you 
put it out there is the number one bestseller in Amazon. Yes. I often forget to say that. Like, uh, someone checked me the other day about that. It's like, it's the number one bestseller. So it became a bestseller on Amazon within 24 hours of its release. And it yes. have about 17 plus reviews. I didn't pay those people to say any of the things that they said. But we have people who've called this the textbook to doing live video. It's an easy read, right? very mm -hmm. easy. But there's mm -hmm. a couple of great nuggets in this book that will really help you understand how to use this platform. Here's the thing that people have to understand. Video is not going anywhere. Come on now. Um, you Come on now. It's not going anywhere. Um, they, it's been said that in the next couple of years, Facebook is going to be a very much driven video driven platform and it's already going there video mm -hmm. on LinkedIn, um, because video gives us an opportunity to instantly um, build that no like trust factor you mm -hmm. know before the mm -hmm. cat that we're six degrees of separation from people right but yes. with live video yes. it gives you an opportunity forget six degrees of separation you get an opportunity to be in front of the influencer the person that you love the person that you that you um, that you emulate right here on video and they may call your name like hey um alan williams hey daryl thanks so much. i know Ingrid. and that's what's amazing about it <laughs> thank you so much and i really thank you so much and i really appreciate it i've even seen the difference a lot more in instagram um, and i was very in surprised instagram. about that and i was very surprised about that you said that was as well so that was you know it used to be very professional but now it's kind of like let their and hair they're down, yeah. and they're more getting to connect still pro, you know, in a professional, pro, you know, in a professional absolutely platform. Correct. There's, there's, absolutely correct. There's always room for storytelling, and that's the thing that's amazing about where we're going. It's relationship marketing, and it's really about um, connectivity, being intentional about building a community and tribe. That's what Facebook wants us to do with this Facebook Live community is build a tribal platform. I mean, a perfect example of that is, I, I mean, I get on and I do the Roadshow Live and I meet people at events or in my community or in other states that say, hey, are you the Roadshow Live? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, man, I love your broadcast. Or how's baby show? Happy birthday. I mean, they're asking about my family. They're they're pinpointing something that they live. Why? Because they feel that connection and they feel like they're a part of the community. And when people feel that they're a part of your community, when they feel Come that on connection, now. guess what? Come they're on. Now. Do business with you. They're going to want to become your client. They're going to want to provide you services because people want to do business with people that they know. Exactly. And things that they trust. Exactly. Exactly. Well, thank you so exactly. much. Exactly. Well, showing thank you so up. much, bro, um, for please, showing up. Um, um, please the, um, put it in the link below. Um, and on, they Mondays, can, you are doing and on Mondays, you are doing the road right. show on, on Mondays, right? Yes, Mondays, you can catch me over on my public figure page, The okay. Road Show, live at 8.30 p.m. or 8.30-ish, depending on the kids. 8.30 okay. p.m. <laughs> Eastern. <Yeah. Saturday. laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Bro. All right. Well, thank I you so much, bro. Um, I love you and uh, congratulations on your speaking travels. engagement and safe travels. Thank you. Love you. Love you, too. Love you, too. All right, I also see that Melissa Nixon is here also. So let's see. You want to talk, of, talk to us about the courageous living, Melissa? Let me see if Melissa's here. Oh, I see Edwina. Edwina, you want to share your upcoming book? Would you like to share your upcoming book? I'll wait for the, um, the response, but definitely. I'm super excited. Super, super excited. Let me see who else is here. Let me see. Hey, Tasha, how you doing? I'm super excited that y'all here. Okay, so I have some guests. All right, hey Keisha, how you doing? So um, Edwina, would you like to join us and share your upcoming book? I know this is impromptu and I, I know you're giving me the side eye, but I love you chick, I love you. Hey Amber, how you doing? All right, let me see if I can invite a guest here. He's coming up next. Let me see. I did invite a guest, but um, Edwina, if you want to, I'm ready and willing. Hey, Mr. Roy, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. Not yet. I have to have. Okay. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. All right. I love you. I love you. But can we have you? So Edwina, can I book you for 
um, the author's corner in 2019. Can I do that? I'm super excited. So, okay, so we had the lovely, the amazing CEO live here with us, the Rose Show, Roshanda Pratt, talking to us about her amazing book and how you can learn practical ways to go live just like we just did. And she shared some major nuggets here. And then um, in 2019, we'll have our lovely Edwina Perry. She'll be, she'll be an author then. And um, I'm speaking it into existence. Latasha, I'm ready for you, girl, for your book um, this upcoming year. And our very next guest is Apostle Rose and Minister Cynthia Rose. They have some, their books are oily, y'all. Okay, I'm just going to put it out there. Their books are oily. So definitely we're going to have them come in and we're going to talk about um, uh, Apostle Eric's uh, upcoming book and Minister Cynthia Rowe's book that I read in one day because I couldn't put it down. That's how good her book was. So definitely. So hold on. Oh, awesome. My book launches on December 15th. Congratulations, Edwina. And before we bring Apostle Eric Rose here, I just want to tell you, those who are watching, and um, and if you saw the hashtag, I also put, I put authors, and I put marketplace ministry, and I also put hashtag write it. I wanted to also um, um, encourage those who are desiring to be writers or who have a book in their belly, but they have been hesitant. Come on, there's no better than today than today to start writing that book so you can have a finished work by next year or even you know god is accelerating a lot of things in this season so you might even finish a book and have it ready before the end of the year so that you can launch it so please be encouraged please be encouraged and write your book hey jill how you doing i know right yep the queen of details all right so without further ado hey crystal how you doing chica I'm going to have um, Apostle Eric Rose to pop in. I'm adding him right now. Crystal, stand by. He's coming in. I'm super excited to have them. This is the dynamic duo out of Cali. I'm super excited to have them. They're such a blessing to me and to others. So I'm ready, really, to bring them in. Yay, they're coming in. Hey. Uh -oh. <laughs> hey. How y'all doing? I'm super excited. I'm trying not there to do the go. happy dance, but definitely. I think we need to back it up a little. We'll back it up. Don't oh, worry. Okay. I'm turning you up We're so we here. can hear you. There we go. There we go. Yay. We're good. There we go. <laughs> hey, how you guys doing? Awesome. I know, right? So um, welcome, Apostle Rose and Minister Cynthia Rose. I'm super excited to have y'all here. And so today was all about authors, and I was telling everybody that this is the Triple G movement, right? Giving God the glory, especially through the Marketplace Ministry. Amen. And um, God has um, blessed me with the opportunity to connect with, divinely connect with both of you. And I know y'all have Amen. some oily books. For those of you who don't know, the term oily <laughs> means yeah. anointed, heavily anointed, Amen. some heavy anointed books. And so I wanted for you guys mm -hmm. and gal yeah. to come up here and share about your book and your story. And, um, and just that I, I already know it's going to make a major impact, but let me just leave it. But let me, I'm, let me stop giving the goods and let y'all talk. So definitely. <laughs> so um, whoever wants to start, I'm going to shut it down. Hey, Adrian, don't go nowhere. I got you next too. Okay. So definitely come on, share to <laughs> us about these amazing books. Ladies first. <laughs> you put me on the spot. <laughs> well, um, first of all, thank you so much. Um, like I told you, Sis Cat, when we were uh, discussing, I, immediately, I'll, I'll this with you. When I got the message from you, I was still in my work clothes, rubbing my feet from a long day. <laughs> and when I read it, I had, you know, just so much stuff going on. And the Holy Spirit just said, I want you to do it. Awesome. So I was like, okay, well, let me let me get it together. Let me get it together. And um, I honestly, I just, I felt, I just felt my entire womb leap. And I was like, okay, wow. you know, and we can get so busy throughout the day that we can't get so busy that we forget about ministry. Amen. And, um, you know, just, just to be able to share with you guys is, is such a blessing. Um, I actually have one of my books here. Uh, the title of my book is Love Lifted Me. Yeah. And it is my testimony. <laughs> and um while I was while I had, you know, the few minutes to get ready, um, I just want to say this to those of you who are listening, who are contemplating whether you should write your story, whether you should step out and write your book. 
Um, I will be honest with you and say that you will receive healing and deliverance in areas that you never even realize Absolutely. as you pour out. Absolutely. Uh, for me personally, the Holy Spirit just covered my mind and literally said, okay, we're going to go back and we're going to revisit the past. Wow. We're going to revisit these incidents, but it's for my glory and for my purpose. Mm. You went through it already by yourself and it almost took your mind. But now we must go back. And that was my heart's cry once I was out of that pit. Um, just just really briefly, um, <coughs> I knew that there was a calling on my life at a very young age. And I was actually um, very excited about doing uh, um, the work of, of um, oh my goodness, I can't even think of it right now. But uh, we would go in and visit orphans in Mexico when I was about 13, 14 years old. Uh, so missionary work. Mm -hmm. And that was just my passion. I, I, I just, I loved it. And literally because I had been abandoned at a young age by my biological father and my stepfather, um, who was a wonderful stepfather, had passed away suddenly. I really just sought the Lord to be my comfort during that time and found it in my youth group. And on one of these missionary trips I write about in the book, I don't want to tell everything, but mm -hmm. um, I was separated from the group and I was raped by a stranger while, I, while in Mexico and I was asked to cover it up by my youth pastor. Wow. And this just began a course of events that just, just literally from the hurt and pain and the confusion that that brought into my life, my life began to spiral downward. But um, the Lord literally just lifted me out of all that. I, I was so confused. You know, you talk about church hurt. Um, mm -hmm. I was so confused. Uh, I, I was putting labels on God that belonged to people, Come on, putting now. him in the same category. <laughs> And saying, you know, you did this to me. And he had no part in it. He was in, in none of the secrets mm -hmm. and none of the lies and, and none of the hiding. As a matter of fact, you know, in my deliverance process, which took about nine months, and I, I talk about it in depth. I talk about the yes. generational curses that were on my life. Because at my, at my worst point, um, saints, I was at my very worst point. I was prostituting myself. I was hooked on drugs and alcohol. And I literally just wanted to die. Mm -hmm. And I, my book begins after my second suicide attempt. And I, I woke up and realized that I had not even succeeded at taking my own life. And at that moment, I had an encounter um, with the Lord that completely changed my life. And I've heard other people speak about encounters. And I can I hear the the, the markings of it when they say, you know, the Lord said, you know, you, you, you're done with your life or you want exchange because we made an exchange. My father and I, my Abba father, we made an exchange that day. And he said, I understand. And I, and I realize you want to end your life. Mm -hmm. So end your life, die to yourself, live for me. And I'll make something beautiful out of your life that you wow. never experienced. Wow. 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 He has done that to all, all glory goes to him. So my book is about that journey of him literally lifting me out of pit and his love is the only thing saints that can lift those of you that have family members who are still in that pit who may be in addiction who may be lost out there who may just be following after you know doctrines of demons or just just unsaved just don't even regard the lord mm -hmm. it is his over hallelujah thank you jesus but let me stop <laughs> no, that's, I mean, I'm going to be stop. honest with you, um, <laughs> Minister Cynthia. Like, when I read the book, the reason is, um, the reason why I couldn't put it down is because I, it was like, I was reading parts of my story within your story and I was like how does she know how does she know you know but it was it was like it, it was mm -hmm. it was a sense of deliverance for me and healing for me and I thank God mm -hmm. for your obedience because I could just imagine how how if it impacted me and I'm not, no greater person than anybody else but I was just like man if it impacted yeah. me imagine those you know imagine everybody else who gets the opportunity to say okay i want to know about this story and then see themselves in there and have the steps through your storytelling to get deliverance to know who to go to the real yes. source not to go to the source of yes you know and i'm speaking about myself not to go to the source of the arms of a man and here i love you 
but those are, that's not that love of love that y'all been teaching me about, you know, or, yes. or drinking yes. or alcohol or, or ecstasy, you know, mm. or while yes. not in those streets thinking yes. that that's what's going to bring you healing, but it's really not. It's not going to fill that void yeah. that's in your body, that vacuum, that big hole that's in your heart. Yes. Ain't nothing going to fill that but yes. God. It's nobody's going to fill that but yes. God. That's right. But let me, let me, let me, that's right. let me read one because I'm already all engulfed <laughs> in it. Come on. But I'm Come telling, on. I'm, yeah, I'm telling Come you, if, I mean, everybody that's here today, whether it's practical for marketplace ministry and whether it is like ministry for healing and deliverance. And, um, and we're going to get into um, Apostle Rose when he's going to talk about um, declarations, you know, powerful declarations and going deeper into the yes. things of God, because um, we have to grow, you know, even though we don't want to grow and the stretching mm -hmm. is difficult. Trust me, I'm going through it right now. We have to grow and he's not Jesus, going to let you go name. until you grow. He's not going to let you go until you grow, especially. Um, and we all Amen. have a greatness and calling in our lives. So, Apostle Eric, tell us about your upcoming book, and even if you want to share your your um your story as well for uh, from your previous book, you're more than welcome, sir. Well, Amen. God bless you guys, and uh, good evening to everyone. Uh, yes. Um, so, uh, my up and coming book is uh, our our release date uh, should be uh, for the 24th of this month. Uh, we're super excited about it. It's something that I've um, it's just been, it's actually been sitting in my belly for a little, for a while now, actually. Wow. Uh, but I really believe that this season that the Lord just, um, you know, we hear a lot talking about the scribal anointing and the, the scribal pen and the oil of the scribe. Yes. And I just believe like at this hour that, that, that oil just has been poured out yes. um, on me to, to birth out. Uh, what's been in me for quite some time. Wow. Um, I, I wholeheartedly believe in the timing of the Lord. Uh, a lot of people um, tend to move ahead of God or they move or, or God's already moved there. And just due to lack of, um, you know, being hesitant or lack of fear, I've been um, people don't move. And so uh, delayed obedience is still disobedience. Yes. So what mm -hmm. tends to happen is you have to wait until the next round cycle that God says, okay, well, I'm because, I, you know, we've already talked about this, you know, I'm going to have to move on ahead to, uh, to the next phase. And then we'll have to come back to that. But um, my current, uh, uh, current uh, uh, up and coming book that's getting ready to come out, it's called a King shall decree a thing. And the subtitle is it's the uh, it's a uh, declarations for the modern day warrior. Amen. So what I do is in each chapter, mm -hmm. I actually teach on each uh, before you before I give you the declaration, I teach on that subject. So it's not a uh, it's not your ordinary declarations book that you're just going to read what's in the book or pray what's in the book. The uh, each chapter is actually to give you a deeper understanding and a more uh, give you more of a DNA structure of what you're praying towards. Mm. And, and so that you can actually see results, you know, mm. because um, there's a difference between when Dr. Cindy Trim prays and when you pray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And that's because she's actually lived and she's actually sacrificed and paid a price yes. in regards to that. So it's the yes. same thing. So um, that's why people, you know, they, they'll buy every prophetic book. They'll buy every, you know, but there's a there's a, once again, your price for you, uh, to, uh, or let me say this way, the cost yes. mm -hmm. for what God has called you to do is Come not on, the God. same price you're going to pay that someone else prays. So don't That's expect good. the same results that someone else uh, got. Actually, you should be have you should be geared toward knowing the Father so much according to your own relationship that you should not want the same results that someone else got, you should want the results that's for you yes. and that's been designed for you wow. specifically. Yes. Amen. Wow. Wow. So I want what God has for me. I don't want what God has for Bishop Jakes or for Apostle such and such and Bishop such and such. I want what God has for me yes. because it's going to produce greater, yes. actually, yes. because I'm not that individual. And everyone has, uh, I'm sorry, everyone has their own uh, thumbprint. 
Mm -hmm. uh, no one else has your identity. No one else has your voice print in the spirit. No one else has your, that's why they, you know, when, when a crime is committed, they run mm -hmm. fingerprints. Why? Yes. Because it will lead to one person, mm -hmm. not 10, not 20, mm -hmm. but it's going to lead down to one person because God has specifically designed you uh, uh, for, for such a time as this. He's, he's designed uh, uh, your matron, your mandate, your purpose, your calling. It doesn't look like ev everyone else's. Mm -hmm. Amen. So this declarations book is going to help you discover more about you, about what God has called you to do. Yes. And in that, um, you know, I, I detail and I talk about the difference between uh, your God nature and your, and your identity in Christ. It's a huge difference between your nature mm -hmm. in the kingdom and your identity. Everyone's a, everyone's a child of God. You know, everyone has the mind of Christ. Everyone's of a royal priesthood. But what distinguishes you from your neighbor? What distinguishes mm, you good. That's good. Uh, as a weapon, as a weapon in the body of Christ? Yeah. What distinguishes you uh, uh, from the next apostle, from the next prophet, from the next right. pastor, from the even from the next intercessor? Yes. What distinguishes you? What's your voice print in this earth room? That's what it. have you been assigned to shake up in Amen. other individuals? Amen. Whom Amen. have you been assigned to at your job? Because you don't work at your neighbor's job. You yes. don't, your husband doesn't work where you, or your wife doesn't work. You are assigned to your yes. specific fear, sphere yeah. and you're going to meet individuals that no one else is, no one else meet. Amen. And so when they meet you, they should encounter Christ. Mm -hmm. They should encounter, uh, they should counter your God. They should see God moving in your life. You should have a testimony of breakthrough for them. When everyone else is stressing and going through things, you should be at peace. Mm -hmm. And so how, so this book basically encourages you and it challenges you uh, uh, to, to not only just pray, but to pray from a place of authority um, that God has given you and that mm -hmm. has been specifically designed for you. So I'm excited about it. Like I said, it'll be out on the 24th, I'm excited about probably it sometime next week. I will. Yeah, like, you know, we haven't, uh, you know, I've only uh, advertised it in, you know, our specific groups or, you know, our prayer groups or, you know, uh, our Cave of Adula mentorship group. But I haven't uh, this publicly really uh, pushed it yet. Um, but probably next week, uh, it, it'll go public next week. So I'm excited about it. Um, can you hold this right quick? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Um, actually, and this, uh, this is my, uh, this is at, uh, the book that's coming out is going to be my sophomore book, but this is my, uh, my first book that I wrote. Uh, it's called Anatomy of an Intimate God. And it's basically, um, it's basically that my autobi autobiography uh, explaining about how, uh, I came into my relationship with Christ. Okay. Uh, I, I go more in depth about my personal testimony about uh, me being uh, delivered from a season of bipolar and schizophrenia and how Thank the God. Lord uh, helped me actually regain my mind. Yes. Uh, regain my mind is so I could regain my life because mm. my, my, the enemy was trying to hijack the season. Not only, uh, he was not only trying to hijack. Uh, uh, my purpose and call, but he was trying to hijack my mind, yes. mm. you know? And so uh, uh, it's on my web, my website that I, I forwarded it to you. If you want to yes. uh, post it uh, later, um, it's uh, both books are actually on my website. So I'm actually revising, uh, uh, revising that book. And so, uh, but I'm excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm no, excited. that means that I'm excited. Some this is stuff definitely is about to season. come in there. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna add some more good stuff. Oh in yeah. There. yeah. Oh, that's oh. why I was like, you know, you in the different oh, yeah. levels. Oh, yeah. Some more meat is gonna be in the book. So I'm I'm excited about that too. Amen. I yes. am. I am and yes. um I will be sharing yes. um the book is for pre sale now and the book that he just shared is for sale right now. You can go to his website. I will be sharing his um his link on the comment section below. And the pre uh, orders are here for the declarations. I'm a t I already got mine. I don't know about you, but I want to be one of the first ones to get this so it could be fresh and it could travel over here because Amen. I know the book is anointed. And I love the fact that it's teaching me. It's not just, you know, giving me the answer Amen. of what somebody sweated for. That's what he was talking about. 
or they, you know, what they, yes. what the oil cost them, but you're going to teach me to gain the maturity and, and, and press the oil that God has given me so that I can walk in authority, to walk in the purpose and destiny that he has yes. for me, especially in my sphere of influence, yes. all the way from, you know, praise God, all the way from raising my kids, homeschooling them. Lord Jesus, I need some, I need some yes. prayer in that area. <laughs> <laughs> to, me. To, you know, to wherever God yes. else has me, yes. you know, wh whatever it is, you know, from the small yes. to, to the, to the largest um, uh, capacity that he has for me. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know that I really like just came in and, and kicked in the doors and was like, hey, come on, let's join this party, you know. But I really appreciate y'all. Yeah. God bless so y'all. I'm so grateful to no, have y'all in you. my life. And again, y'all, y'all can follow hey, them man. at Abdul, yes, we um, Abdulam um, International Ministries. Did I say it right? I'm sorry if I didn't say it right. Did I say it right? Adul 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 yes, Adul 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 yeah, Adul 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 International Ministries. You can like their page. You can um, go check out Apostle Eric Rose, his page, and Minister Cynthia Rose. You might not see those handles in front of them, but they wear them and wear it humbly and honorably to give God the glory. But you can find them mm -hmm. on Facebook, and you can find mm -hmm. the mentorship uh, group that they have as well. It's an amazing mentorship group. If you're ready to grow, this is where this is a great opportunity for you to grow and expand the capacity that the kingdom that God has for you in the kingdom. So thank you so much for coming in, and I will be sharing yeah. your books thank you, um, Pat, here for in a few. Thank yes, you. Yes, I love y'all. I love y'all. Love, <laughs> love you. Love you too. Love you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I see, an, um, I have a lot, a lot of other guests. Oh, Jennifer Dia says is, um, that uh, Minister Cynthia Rose's book is a powerful book as well. Tremendously helped her. It helped me. I'm telling y'all. Um, I see that I have um, Lierica here. Lierica, um, I'm going to um, put you live. You want to share your story as well? I'm going to invite you in. Let me see. Where's Lierica? Oh, it's not allowing me to invite you in. All right. I don't know why. Are you on the computer? Try to go on, on, the, on the phone. Okay. So I'm going to try Crystal. Let me see Crystal. Crystal has an amazing book as well. What's going on? It's not allowing me to um, invite y'all. Let me see. Let me see Crystal. So those of you who just joined us, today is the Triple G Movement, and the Triple G Movement is giving God the glory. And we're doing that by inviting authors to share their story. And so that's what we're increasing the kingdom and sharing their stories. And, and so they can continue to share their story and people can be saved, delivered, and also continue to walk into the marketplace ministry. We just had our lovely guests um, Rashonda uh, Pratt come in here and talk to us about how to go live like we're doing right now and we also had Apostle Eric Rose and Minister Cynthia Rose share their story and um, their amazing books as well and, um, and the power of deliverance and how to go into the deeper things of God so definitely so let me see who else I can invite here I'm going to okay um, Lyrica I'm inviting you I'm adding you so I'm ready to share your story let me see if this works. What time is it? Oh, it's 9.08. Okay, we got a couple more minutes, so I'm super excited. All right, it says that it's adding you. So I'm hoping that it works. Okay. Yay! 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 Hey, Hey, as you can okay. see, I'm in my car. I'm okay. class. Listen, that's not your car. That's your mobile. That's not your car. That's your mobile office. Yes, my mobile office. <laughs> okay, so tell us about your story. Oh my God. I got to read it. I got to read it. I know there's a little echo, but I want to hear what happens. I want to hear what happens when I'm in the car. Again, this is a anointed book. And I got to a portion where it's really a story. And I have to drive it. 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 And I have to I was literally in tears because I know that she was holding that story quite And when she shared that story, she ripped the mute button off. And she came in kicking in doors. And she came in kicking in doors. So tell me about you. Tell me about your book. You are advocating for the story. Okay, can you hear me okay? Yeah, it's me with the echo. I don't know. It's me with the echo. I don't know. Facebook is acting funny. Okay. 
Um, my book is called The Making of a Woman, and it is my story of surviving and conquering domestic violence and a brutal sexual assault, and also dealing with mental um, health issues during that time. Um, and it's my story, and like you said, I have to rip the Band-Aid off because I realized for me, in my call, I could not reach the people I needed to reach until I was honest and told my story. So that people knew I didn't read it in a book. Um, this is me, and I am a living, walking, breathing testimony. Yes. Yes. Yes, so I am advocating for sexual assault awareness and also domestic violence awareness. And this past month in October, I got the opportunity to um, go to an event um, for my sister's house here in Charleston to be a guest there. And also I was able to have a speaking engagement where I was able to share part of my story at a domestic violence guy. Um, absolutely amazing because I also know as believers, as women and believers, sometimes it is difficult for us to be honest about what we are going through in the natural. And we can't be delivered. I realize that I can't be delivered until I can say what it is I'm being delivered from. I can't just say delivered. So I had to open my mouth and it's time for the shame that women feel, um, especially as Christians, thinking that we're doing something wrong because we have these issues we deal with in the natural. Yes, I absolutely agree. I feel like I experienced that with myself. I feel like 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 Actually, it takes so much time to be honest. Yes, it does. It's so, a lot of strength it takes. I'm really? Yeah. And really? that's why I feel yeah. like you said, so that's why I feel like this journey has not been easy, but it has been extremely powerful. It absolutely, um, for me, taking my voice back um, is the most empowering. It was something I was ashamed of. There were few people who knew um and at one person one time someone who knew my secrets so to speak and loved me threatened to use my secrets against me and so at this point you can't say nothing i've told my story now so there's nothing you can hold over my head i've told it i've been honest it's my truth my voice um and there's no no more shame and my favorite scripture is um, Isaiah 61 and 7, and I hope I don't get it wrong, but it said instead of um, shame, you will receive a double portion, and instead of your disgrace, you will receive your, you will receive your inheritance. I'm probably kind of messing nope. it up. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. Isaiah 61, you know that he's going to replace your shame. He's going to replace your disgrace. So go ahead and say what it is, tell your story. So how can um, people so how can, um, can get a copy of your book? So my website is www.misslierica, it's M-S-L-E-E-R-I-C-A dot com. Um, also on Instagram, I am Miss Lierica, and on Facebook, I'm Lierica Richards. So any of those ways I can be and that's also for speaking engagements as well. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so okay. much. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. I love you. I love you. I'm so excited about you. I'm so excited about you. Thanks. So, what's week? Wednesday? Wednesday. 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 Wednes
So I don't know what's going on, but I got Trill. Trill is here. So, oh, thank you. Crystal put it, she put it up there. So those of you who want to get a copy of Lierica's book, go to misslierica.com and you can get a copy of her book as well. So let me see. I don't know what's going on, but it's all right. So those of you who just joined us, oh, there she is. We're here in the Triple G movement and we're sharing authors. We're sharing other authors and their stories. And so um, we're giving God the glory through all these books that we're sharing with you today. And our last guest will be um, Trill. Yes. Oh, thank you, Mr. Roy. How you doing? So, I'm good. How are you? I'm Okay, so real quick, I just want to say thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate what you're doing. And uh, my name is Crystal Wilson, and I'm your online trainer and motivator. And I um, just love to equip the people of God spiritually, mentally, and physically. Um, I believe that, you know, it's not just about how you look on the outside, but what's going on with you on the inside. Come on. And so Come on. One, of the, one of the books I'm writing, <laughs> which I want to write more books, is called um, When You Fast. And it's a 21-day devotional about prayer and fasting. And um, that's just like I was looking at the young couple earlier about um, the reason why this book is so special is because as I was going back and reading it, I didn't realize how much God actually poured into me. And so it's not just telling you that you should fast. It's telling you how to fast strategically and how to have a successful fast, because I believe a lot of people fast, but they end up quitting because they don't have the tools that they need. And so, um, this is a copy of the book right here, but it's, um, it's just, it's, I know it's telling you, um, how to fast effectively. Um, there's 21 days of devotionals in there is 21 prayers in there. And it's just one of those things that you would, when you literally are fasting, it's giving you step by step instruction on how to fast. And, I actually started writing the book when I was pregnant with my son, who is one year old now. And so, yeah. And so I really believe that um, so if you, you read it, you would birthing. definitely be. So you were literally birthing two times. Yes. <laughs> yes, I was. Awesome. So how can we get the copy? Awesome. So how can we get the copy of the book so we can um, prepare ourselves? Because I know a lot of people will be starting the year off with a one inch of fat. So how can we get a head start by getting your book? Um, the book is available on Amazon, um, and I'll post the link. You can get it at bit.ly slash when you fast. And it's also, um, if you have the Kindle Fire, it's only um, four ninety nine. So that's how you can um, get the book. Okay, awesome. So you okay, have awesome. Kindle, so you have the Kindle, you have it, um, on, Amazon, you have it um, on Amazon, and you can also, um, what, what else oh, those are the two ways, right? Oh, those are the two ways, right? Yes, it's also available. Actually, it's it's also available on Barnes and Noble also. Okay. Um, and so I'll post those okay. um, links in the comments. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, and please share your group. Also, right? You have a community also, right? Yes, I have, actually have two group, groups. Um, one of the groups I have, it's, it's designed for um, people who are interested in fasting, and it's called The Fasting Life um, on Facebook. And I also have another group that's all about fitness um, and healthy eating, and that's called The Fitness Kickstart Group. So, yeah, thank you awesome. so much. Thank and you thank, awesome. you thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us. And please don't forget to put it under the below. I love you. Oh, I love you too. See you later. Who else we gonna? Yeah, there is a lot. I don't know. Um, I apologize for the feedback. Actually, the feedback is um is something a little full pop that's going on on Facebook with some of the um some of the guests. So I have Trill, and I see that um Shannon is here as well. So those of you who just joined us, my name is Kat Pons. I'm the restoration coach here. Oh, there goes Adrian. Come on through, girl. All right. 
Um, and we have our next guest is Adrian Young. Come on through. Let me see. Yes! You did like 50 billion lives today, but I'm super excited. Come on. Come on, sis. <laughs> you passed your bedtime, ain't you? <laughs> I am. So, you know, as soon as I get off my hair, I'm going to get the work done. Hey, guys! It's the Girlfriends <laughs> Restoration Pro with Sam. All right. I'm super excited to have you here because, oh my gosh. Okay. See, I was like, okay, is she going to let me or is she not going to let me give out the tea? So I'm so excited that you're going to let me give out the tea. So without further ado, you hear it first here at Restoration From Within. Yep. Yes. And I don't know if she's taking pre-orders, but she will after this show. Yes. Adrian <laughs> Young is an author. Yes. I think, look, maybe I can see if I can hold up my phone but people can see the cover. Yes. No, I'm listen. Yes. I'll, um, if you allow Here me. Here it is. Hey! Yes. Without Here further ado, y'all, drum roll, please. Adrian's first Hi. book, Don't Go Thrifting Without Me. So tell us about this amazing book and how it even came to be birthed, sis. Listen, you are stretching me because I just <laughs> met with my editor and we're going to get a pre-publishing, um, pre-sale link probably in like, uh, probably tomorrow actually, because it'll be out by Black Friday. Congrats. So, yeah, don't I'm super excited. Man, love you, Pastor Cynthia. This Don't Go Thrifting Without Me, a mini guide to maximize the benefits of thrifting. If you all know anything about me, I love thrifting. This shirt I have on is literally 50 cents. <laughs> Come on through. Listen, she goes inside stores and I've witnessed this. I'm not just telling you because she's told me. I've witnessed it. She goes in stores and literally like, I don't, you know, I said, how do you do it? And she finds the baddest outfits. I'm talking about bad, y'all. And she's like 50 cents, a dollar, five dollars. I'm like, this chick, I just came in here and I was lost. And she left me in, like in the corner. I was like, okay, doo -doo 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 -doo. and she said, just come on. And I'm like, okay. But I'm literally like, she's she's anointed for this. I mean, literally, she's anointed for this. She's That's fabulous. I do believe it. I will honestly say there is anointing on my life to find a way for you to look fabulous without looking like I don't have any money. This came about because of the fact... Um, you don't have I any money yet. I'm sorry. I'm going to cut you off. You don't have any money yet. I'm sorry. You don't have any money yet. Yeah. yeah. I didn't, well, I have money now. I'm yeah. good. Money but rotation. At that point, I only had $100 <laughs> for my in-laws, and I was, like, infatuated with what not to wear. It was one of the best shows in the world. You know, they pay $100 for one shirt. I was like, I can't do that. So I went to the local Goodwill um, while I was in there, and I was like, listen, I bought tons of beautiful items with change left over out of that thrift store. And I was like, I will never go back. <laughs> <laughs> and I do shop in the mall once in a while. And I go to Ross. I love Clarence and everything like that. Come on with me, Trill. I absolutely love that you can look absolutely beautiful. Hey, mama. And not look like you're going backwards in the bank. So starting, I started thrifting groups. I have a thrifting group of like 2,000 members. I remember. Um, and yeah. we would like go thrifting together. We did swap parties, which all of this is in my book. And I remember God saying, give that group away. And I did to do full-time ministry. I gave that group away. I stopped doing my swap parties. I stopped thrifting like I used to. I gave away all my thrift clothes and became a minimalist. Well, then um, that was in 2014. I started writing the book in 2014 and just stopped. All that kind of good stuff. So then um, when Melissa started doing 21 days of prayers for entrepreneurs and she did a special prayer for writers and I knew I had been prophesied to me over and over. There's three books in your belly. And I had already had a book deal to write women who war, which is coming out in March. And that book, I have to have it finished by December 1st. So I'm doing that tonight. I'm writing tonight, but I knew that there was a book in my belly. So as Melissa was praying fingers, my fingers caught on fire. Wow. Like I felt fire hit my fingers as she wow. was praying. So I got my laptop and I thought, okay, I'm going to start in Women Who Wore a Book and the Holy Spirit's like, no, Google the thrift book that you never completed. And I looked and I had the outline, I had the chapters done, I had everything ready. And I text my editor, I said, I have another book. She said, let's do it. We can have it out in four weeks. 
And I wrote that night until I was empty. And I said, wow. Lord, I feel like it needs more. What else do you need? He said, interview the, your top thrifters that you absolutely love across the world. I'm talking one of my thrift followers I love has 30,000 members in her thrift group. I was like, they ain't going to know me from Adam and Eve, but I'm going out to. So I inboxed them all. And they all said yes. Yo, and the Holy Spirit all... is amazing. <laughs> yes. So I interviewed them all. They all gave their thrift to the secret state. And we had a great conversation. For those who get the book, you'll also get the audio interviews for those who did the audio interviews. And I just spilled my secrets. Like, and, and it is. And like my, my apostle just said, it's the eagle eye prophet. I can look. I walked into a thrift store tonight. I set a timer. I challenged myself. I set a timer for myself for 20 minutes. I walked in there tonight and got two leather pants. Um, I bought a brand new shirt that says the world is my runway. I bought two um, belts. And I think it's something else for 36 bucks. I was like, this is Jesus. And they all know my name. So I go like every day because it's like right down the road. <laughs> so I just love the fact that you can look your best for less. That you, especially as uh, many of us on fixed incomes, we can't afford to. And you're like, oh, I just I cannot. Listen, this book will teach you everything that you need to know. Not just about clothes, but as my mother is saying, household items. I have so many household items. My whole kitchen is thrifted. Yeah. Did many you buy a mirror for like 30, 20, 30 bucks? Like a huge mirror? The mirror was originally $199 from Pier 1, and I got it for 24 bucks. Come on through. So, hey. so many good things you can buy. <laughs> oh, Trill and Charleston, absolutely. You can go to the Goodwill. Yeah. You can go to the um, Pool by the Pound. Mm -hmm. I'll teach you all that in the book. But it's, I love the fact that I can share my gift. I can share what God has blessed my Thank life you. with with other people. And I really thought be a God book first, but I be, God is all in this book. Cause you know, I put a thrift prayer in there and a thrift. Scripture. Come on now. I, I know how you get down and you spoke in tongues over that book before yeah. you gave it in. So I know, I know how you get down. So definitely. We talk I, about it. How when you put in that atmosphere, what you want, it'll manifest. Mm. I literally said to God this week, I asked him, I said, Lord, I would like some sequin pants. And I would like some leather pants. And yesterday I walked in Goodwill and was brand new sequin pants with the tag still on them. I saw rose that. gold. Oh, and then today I walked in there and there's some for leather pants. So it's amazing. So amazing. It, isn't that amazing? Would you put in the atmosphere, you wouldn't want that. Exactly. And those of you who are watching right now mm -hmm. and they're like, oh man, you. um, you're hesitant about writing a book or doing what God has told you to do, but you're just hesitant, just do it. Just do it. I mean, because right. we were all there. We were all there. Like, you know, a story, mm -hmm. she she stopped. And then a couple years later, God said, pick that thing up. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, you know. But let me just obedient. share the testimony, though. If you're obedient, like Kat said, me being obedient and saying I was going to write women who wore, somebody watched a live. Her name was Octesia Johnson on Bet On Yourself Publishing. Watched my live. Mm. Messaged me and said, if you're ever going to write a book, let me know. I want to help you through the whole process. Mind you, my secret prayer the day before was, Lord, if I write this book, I need somebody to help me with the cover, Come on, editing, now. and wow, publishing. Wow, I can't wow. do this by myself. My secret thought prayer, she had never watched me live. Watch me live, go time. And literally, I had a book deal paid for in my inbox the very next day. So Look when you God. obey God and just write and say yes, he will provide the publisher. He'll provide the book cover. He'll provide the editor. All he needs is your yes and your time. And I'm telling you, when I sit down to write this Women Who War book, I had so much fun writing this book last night with this opening the scriptures and, and studying women God and how, how God is showing me how they warred as a woman for their marriage, for their children, mm -hmm. you know, interceding like this. It's fun for me. Like I can do this the rest of my life and get paid and just go across the country preaching and teaching the word of God from these books. That's how powerful. Yeah, so that, that's, that's important. Part of you can't Aaron Lawrence, my student. Yeah, and you. Eric Rose that said, if yeah. you have a book in you, God will provide. He will provide everything you need. Just write. Leave yes. the details up to him. Just yes. get out what it is and he'll bless you. Yes. Yes. I, and I can attest to that. Yeah. Even um uh, Apostle Eric Rose is saying he's he's doing it for him too. Out of the obedience, so definitely. So, okay, so you said um, the book will be out soon, right? The pre, the link for the pre-sale, but hopefully by tomorrow. And then on March for the yes. Warriors Arise Conference, we should expect the Women Who War book, correct? 
So I'm super excited about that. That what, and what four other things? books. Oh, and for yeah, the women who are uh, wives who wore too, right? Yeah, so from women who wore book, there will be four work books, and wives who war is one of them. So y'all can pray for me right now. My book is due December first, along with two papers and two final exams, and, and my four work books are due January the first. And this one that I just wrote was due November first, and God has allowed me. I have not struggled with. Oh my God, I'm not going to meet the deadline. It's going to be um, so. When, it's amazing. I went from zero books to having four, five. Six, at least six that would be on the table for this conference. If anybody would have told me that a year ago that I would have six books in a year, I wouldn't believe them. But that's an activation because Kat, you and I went to write it with John Eckhart, Pastor mm -hmm. John Eckhart, and he that's laid right. hands on every last one of us. You know, one of our um, team members um, wrote days. three books in, in like three months. Yeah. It yeah. is amazing. Yeah. And Lana Bowser has spoken. You can write a book in a day. Yeah. Oh, and Miss Cynthia said she was there also at the minister, Cynthia, at the writer. She said, I wrote my book and God provided the monies to publish three days before my deadline. He is faithful. Yeah. And then um, Eric Rose said, oh. pray for our conference. He has three books for his conference um, next year in March. Wow. As well. So I'm, here it is. This, these are testimonies. I mean, yeah. Describe all is heavy. Yes, yes, it's out the there. You just have to say yes. You just have to say yes. And, and follow through regardless of what you see and what you encounter. Because there's some challenges that's going to happen. So um, before we um, end this, I just want to pray and, and I can, uh, that God continue to, um, to give you the fire in your fingers and that you continue to write that he gives you white space and that you do three to four times as more in, in, the, in the time that it took you to do just one thing. And not just with this, but with your family. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I love you. I'm super proud of you. this and i'm just excited to witness what god is doing through you girl you are on fire i'm telling you i'm super excited about this so i love you god and only. I'm so you. so happy for you so good night um keep writing and whenever you sleep may your I'm going right and your now. rest be tripled <laughs> i love you sis hey troy mm -hmm. how you doing i love you, you bye bye y'all all right i have another guest here Okay, let me see who else is here. All right, Trill. I hope you pop up, girl, because I want to invite you over. All right. Hey, Jerry, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. I know we're um, a little, um, it's not It's not showing me your thing, so I'm going to, um, oh, what's going on? Okay, let me see. All right, it's not allowing me to invite you, Trill. Anybody else is here? I think Shannon is here as well. So let me see if Shannon is here. And then these will be our, our I, I said it before, but they will be our last guests. So um, it's not allowing me. So are you on your laptop, Trill, or on your mobile device? Because sometimes the laptop doesn't allow the opportunity. So, but thank you so much. Those of you who are watching us here, we, we, we had the Triple G movement. We had um, God Gets the Glory out of all the authors that came and shared their stories and how they, um, they influenced the marketplace through their ministry slash businesses. And we had um, the Rose Show Live, Roshonda Pratt. We had um, Apostle Rose and Minister uh, Cynthia, uh, Cynthia Rose. We had uh, the Adrian Young with her upcoming book as well. And we also had Crystal. She shared her book on fasting, and I would love to um, invite uh, Trill. Oh, there you go. Trill, I'm inviting you over. Okay, so now I have the lovely Trill Ravenel. She is one of the um, co-founders of the Yay! Okay. Hey, so hey, hey. Let's go. So, um, so I'm going to be quiet, and I'm going to let you speak. Actually, I don't hear the echo anymore. It went away when you were talking to Adrian. Oh, okay, awesome. Okay, so okay, um, awesome. I have my okay. lovely so, um, Trill Ravenel. I have my lovely Trill Ravenel. I don't know what she's gonna talk about, but definitely, I want to tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your books, and how can we get the book, and how can we get the book. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Kat, for just allowing me this space. I really appreciate it. I don't take it for granted. Excuse the hat. Um, no, I'm, in, I'm, I'm in the natural phase. I, so I, I co-washed my hair and I twisted it. So of course, I can't come on like that. But I am so grateful to be on here tonight. And I was just talking to Adrienne and how she talked about 
um, the span of time that it took her to write her book. And that was my story as well. And I'll just tell you a little bit about who I am. I am Trail Ravenel. I am a master wife coach and also transformation scientist. And basically what I help women and wives do is transform their lives from the inside out so that they can experience that transformation outwardly. Uh, a lot of times we want to transform outwardly first. But transformation, true transformation and change takes place inside. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm teaching women uh, the tools and resources that they need to experience that wholeheartedly and in every area of their life. So that's who I am. That's what I do. Um, I've written to date, Kat, 10 books. Uh, I'm, on my, I'm on my 10th book right now, and that's a book collaboration that we're doing. And the first book that I did was actually a Proverbs 31. I have a copy of all, so I'll probably just put them up. Mm -hmm. The Proverbs, um, not the, mm -hmm. the Proverbs 31 book was the first one we did. And this this book was a mis was wasn't a mistake, but we just did it out of a challenge that we did. Uh, so we did a Proverbs 31 challenge, and we thought it was going to be a good idea to do a book. So that's how that book came about. Um, once that book was done, there was still a book inside of me called Rolling with the Punches. And uh, like Adrian and you guys, we were John Eckhart's uh, conference, I believe, and we spoke life over you. It was years ago that my husband, then boyfriend, went to a church and a prophet was at the church, profound prophet, but I cannot remember his name. And he spoke over my life and spoke that I would write books. I'm like, no, I'm not. Um, at that time, I had no idea. I always loved writing. I'm a, I'm a woman of many words, which you can probably tell when I talk. I love speaking, I love writing. And I've always been a person that wanted to write poems, uh, letters. Um, I express myself really well through words. But I had no idea that I would write books, right? So he spoke that over my life. And not surely after, I did produce a book. And this is my favorite book as a matter of, well, one of my favorite books, but I guess I'll be a little biased, is Rolling with the Punches. Because in this book, it really spelled out my life, uh, a lot of things that I had dealt with from my childhood. And I also realized that there were a lot of areas that I was still struggling in. I was still hurting. I was still feeling rejected. I was still feeling abandoned. Uh, my father passed away. I talked about that because that was a big part of my story. He passed away three days before my 18th birthday, and that just broke my heart. Uh, more so, not necessarily the death, but the relationship I did not get to have with him because I didn't know how to appreciate or value him as my father. So if anybody is dealing with unforgiveness or anything like that, then that you know this book would definitely be something that you want to get your hands on. Um, I also wrote uh, Wives Who Win, right? Wives Who Win, and you can see my shirt. I have Marriage is a God Idea. Um, this book is my baby. And the reason why this is my baby is because, uh, you know, when I first got married, my, my husband and I had all of these issues in our marriage, right? Um, there were things that popped up that I didn't realize that was there within me. Uh, things that I was still struggling and dealing with, daddy issues, anger problems, mindset issues, you name it, I had it. But uh, because I was not in a relationship for so long or a significant relationship before my husband, none of these things came up. It didn't come up until I was in a close, knitted relationship where I, where I, had, the, um, I, had, I had to bond and connect with someone on a day-to-day -day basis and them seeing my ugly, right? seeing all of my areas and me being so exposed because you can't really hide in marriage. So I was open. I was vulnerable. I was naked and unashamed in that space. And those things started coming up. So I wrote this book because I wanted to share with wives how they can learn to win in their marriage by first winning in themselves. And learning to look at what's going on in me. And I'm not saying that my husband doesn't have, doesn't or didn't have issues, but he's not on the stand today. I am, right? So I had to learn to look at myself and see what areas of my life needed to be transformed because what I was doing at the time was looking at him and saying, you need to do this. You need to, if you do this, this will happen. If you do this, that will happen. But like I always say, it's easy to point your finger and blame as someone else because it takes the responsibility off of you yeah. to transform. So I had to do that and God really sat me down quietly. So this is what this book is about because I wanted to help women to be able to find out what's going on in here so you can deal with that and then you can produce healing in your marriage, right? Because we are the biggest influences in our marriage. So another book I wrote was Speak Life. I won't show that one. But Speak Life was because uh, when I was younger, I would speak negative, right? Although I, was, I, I love to speak, I love to write, I was very negative, very critical. Um, you know, I found something wrong with everybody or anything. And that was just my life. But that was a defense mechanism, right? And a coping mechanism for me because of things that I had struggled with. And again, not wanting to confront my brokenness. So I wrote this book called Speak Life. It's 31 affirmations on um, how you can, you know, have a powerful life and live a great life. So I wrote that because I wanted people to realize that their words are words or seeds. Um, and what you speak, you will have, 
right? So I had to learn to first, I had to change the way I thought about a thing. Then I had to change the way I spoke about a thing. Yes, and that, that's when the rest of my life started changing because my words, my world was then framed by my words. So that book is very powerful. And the last one I want to talk about is a book that I just finished writing. It's in the editing stage right now. And it will be on sale for Thanksgiving. The Thanksgiving weekend is In It to Win It. I'm so excited about this one, Kat, because it's a devotional. And I love devotionals. My sister called me a devotional queen. I love a devotional because it's, it's you know, short as far as the content is concerned, but it's impactful, it's powerful, and it gives you the opportunity to write and to just really reflect on where you are. So this devotional is called In It to Win It. It's a 31-day guide on how to improve communication and maximize intimacy in your marriage. And it is absolutely amazing. Again, I wrote that book because of the lack of communication and the lack of intimacy in my marriage or the low levels. I want to say lack, but that means nothing at all. But all the things that we did wrong, <laughs> right? I wanted to help women. And this is really a couple book. So this book is not for just women. This book is awesome. for couples. I wanted to show them how, awesome. do you, and how do you improve the communication when you're on two different pages, when you don't speak the same language. When he has a different way of looking at things and you have a different way of looking at things. You know, when you can't seem to agree on anything. When, you know, when you talk about money, you, you have an argument. Or when you talk about certain subjects, you have an argument. So how can you improve communication there? How can you, how can you maximize intimacy when he thinks intimacy is sex and you know that intimacy, intimacy started when you woke up that morning? Like, how do you intertwine all of that? So I wanted to share that because that's something my husband and I struggled with so I wanted to be able to share that and we're still growing we're still learning right yeah with yeah. other women and other men so that yeah. They use this, yeah so that they use this as a tool what I truly believe is that you need tools to be able to help you have a successful life and have successful relationships you know this books like these you know your relationship with God and prayer meditation all of those things are preventative measures you know, there's nothing wrong with interventions, but we should want to have preventative measures to help us on the journey instead of always having to intervene and to, to, to pick, you know, to redirect our steps. You, you don't have to redirect if you're already doing what you're supposed to be doing to make things happen and to make things work in the relationship. So that's why I wrote these books that I'm going to continue to write. You know, I have other books that have not been published that I'm going to get out and get published. My husband and I are working on one together called Tab Out. We've been working on that for a while, girl, but he's so busy and I just have to really sit him down or say, hey, give me your words and then I put my words with it and we go from there. But we'll get it out definitely. You know, another book I'm writing about, uh, defleshing, how, how do you deflesh? So there's so many things I can call all the topics, but God just, there's so much inside of me and I, I want to be able to share that gift to the world and be able to help people heal. Because what I do know is that uh, marriages are broken because individuals are broken. So when individuals get healed, then marriage can heal. And that's the message that I want to share out there. And you all don't get it twisted. That doesn't mean my marriage is perfect. That doesn't mean that I don't go through. In fact, the enemy fights me even the more because I'm on this mission to save one million marriages because I go so hard. Because, you know, because I, 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 I'm committed. Listen, Kat, uh, my, my life is marriage. My husband will tell you. He gets tired of me talking about marriage. I, I am so focused on marriage. In, in our marriage, not just everybody else one, right? Yeah. So when things are going wrong, yeah. we're off track. I'm like, honey, we need to do this. We need to have sex. We need to be intimate. We need Come to feed the marriage. We need, you know, I'm so it Because I understand the enemy's attack on marriages. I understand wow. what he's attempting wow. to do to families. So I'm not going to allow him to do that to mine. Do we always get it right? Absolutely not. Do we have character building moments? Absolutely. Right? But we also know that God is definitely the center of our marriage and we're going to come back together and we're going to be stronger than ever before. So that's why I go so hard and that's why I'm writing these books and these tools to help people to heal from the inside out. And I love that. So how can we get and these books? Especially so how can we get these books? Especially why come to win and even more for speaking engagement. Absolutely. Or for speaking engagement. Yes, yes, yes. So you can go on detourmovement.org. Um, detourmovement.org is one of our websites. Also, wives who win com. You can go there as well. Make sure you're following me first and foremost, because what I'm doing with the book that's coming up, Kat, um, in a couple of weeks, is I'm going to give away 50 copies for free. I've already pre-pre-sold three of those copies, and what I say by selling, because you're still paying for your shipping and handling, but the, uh, the book is free. So if anybody's interested in that, you can definitely inbox me, and I can let you know how to do that. But I'll have a link ready, and I'll have um, advertisements on Facebook and other platforms for you to be able to get that book. And again, the first 50 copies are free. All you're paying for is your shipping and handling.
Awesome. Thank you so much. Look at you. You're such a blessing. Thank you so much. Look at you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Right. You all have a good night. Bye. 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 All right. Oh man, today has been. Woo, I, I, I didn't. I've been bombarded with authors. I'm super excited. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. We went a little bit longer than what um, we I usually plan to do, but I just wanted to get as many authors as possible to share. Um, it is the holidays, so take note. There's a lot of websites. Um, on this comment section, take notes and get a copy from these amazing authors. And also, um, if you are an author and and you want to, uh, you know, promote your book as well, please put your link below and tell us a little bit about your book as well. And I would love to share this. Um, share this with uh, some girlfriends or couples or families because we talked about everything. We talked about spiritual growth. We talked about how um, how to become a CEO of life. We talked about some practical things about thrifting for the glory of God. And we also talked about going about deeper things and about wives who win for marriages to be enriched. So definitely, definitely, definitely share this. Tag a girlfriend or a friend. And, um, and let's continue to share the wealth. And Christmas is around the corner. So this is a definitely for those readers, those lovers that want to get these books, those um, it's just a blessing. Increase the kingdom. Remember, this is a triple G movement. We will have another one in January 2019. So I'm super, super excited about that. Where we will feature um, some other um, authors as well who are doing ministry in the marketplace. I love y'all to life and thank you so much for joining us. Again, my name is Kat Pons. I am the restoration coach here at Restoration From Within. And today we had Temple Talk Thursdays. And we usually um, talk about um, health um, uh, concerns or subject areas. And we have guests coming in talking about renewing our bodies, renewing our spirits and restoring um, our temples. But today I just wanted to set aside to talk about other marketplace ministry <clears throat> individuals who are increasing the kingdom and giving God glory by their books. So again, if you have a book in you, write it, write it, write it, write it. I love y'all to life and thank you for joining us. Bye. See you soon.